in this video we're going to be talking about these these brackets I made in my workshop out of some scrap steel a bit of an old garden chair some flat plate and a piece of tubing and some random brackets that came with a bit of old IKEA furniture and what these are going to allow me to do is to build a tent style shelter using a tarpaulin or a basher or a poncho and then you can have no central pole you don't need to run a rope in between two trees you can just have this pick a spot ideally sometimes if you want to make a tarp shelter you haven't got two trees or anything convenient and the central pole can get in the way so this will just show you how these are going to work and might inspire you to make some get someone to make some or buy a similar product I know they sell plastic ones a lot smaller with a sharp right angle top to them but where I've made these rounded they won't cause any stress point on the material and where they're metal they'll last for years and years and years and they won't fatigue or break so I think um, they're probably a really good make and worthwhile doing so I'll go through the process of how we're going to knock a shelter up now with a British Army basher so then you can see how it's done here we go I've laid my material out you just lay your tarp or ground sheet whatever you're going to use and we need five poles so we need a central pole and then two for each end so what you could do is just find a stick you could roughly snap off the required length so you want a central point from a central point I can now use this as a rough cutting guide for the four short poles and then we need a, a longer central pole which I'll cut I'll cut a long one and then just trim it to length so I'll gather all the poles now I've got my central pole, this will form the apex and now I've got a good straight correct length I just need to replicate it so we have four of them fall a bit short not to worry one two three one more We are happy days. Right, got well, everything we need apart from a little bit of paracord. So I'll get the roll of paracord out and then we'll start assembly. coming closer to the camera so you can see so 
just by absolute pure luck these are a really good snug fit into this bracket so now you can kind of visualize what we've got going on here these are going to form the frame and then the central pole which I'll definitely have to trim down to fit in here and then you'll see there's two holes so I'll form a loop of paracord and then I can use a stick and twist it round to tension it and pull this in tight so it won't fall apart and that will give us our frame and then we can just chuck the, t the sheet over the top so uh, I'll get on and assemble everything so as I said the end of this long pole 100% I need to trim it down just so it's going to fit into the center of this bracket so it's just simply a case of just trimming it down all the way around even until that end will fit, fit all the way in as snug as possible so you don't want to trim it down really small you want to keep it really a, quite a tight fit so the whole thing's a lot sturdier and then it will put up with some uh, wind and whatever else the elements will throw at it so I'll just keep going with this until it's a snug fit and then hopefully I'll show you the complete frame assembly all put together in a second so guys as you can see we've now got our basic frame I've got an off cut of one of the other sticks that I cut for the sides and this is going to be the turn and put some tension into our top rope that I'm going to fit now so I'm going to get on and put that in literally we're just going to form a loop going through those two sets of holes and you just want to feed it all the way through and once we've pegged once we've pegged the basher down as well, it'll cause even more tension and help keep this thing sturdy. So I'm just going to roughly cut that somewhere where we need it. And now just tie the ends together so it creates a fairly tight loop and then we can tension it. need anything fancy not wise so you hope you can see there's just a loop here now so we can feed our stick in and just like an old rubber band powered aeroplane you just keep winding this thing until there's sufficient tension in it and then we can tie stick up it's just starting to pull now you don't want loads because it's only wood so the top pole may start bowing if you put too much tension into it but this is just going to hold the whole thing together you could also bury the ends of the downward sticks into the ground and lock that in. So you'll see now that's that's got a fair bit of tension on it now. So yeah, if I let that go, that would just want to go. So all we need to do now is just tie off with a couple of bits of cord. So you see, all I'm going to do now is tie off this stick I've zoomed in hoping that you can see it a bit better so just want to feed it out of the way just so it's not gonna catch 
or cause any issues. So just a couple of knots. got so much tension in it, it just wants to spin. If you tie it each end, that should hold it and it shouldn't really want to go anywhere once it's tied. That's it, that's our frame. So, just a case of chucking our sheet over the top now. I haven't got any pegs, so I'll make some pegs up some of those stick off cuts in a minute and once I've got it all pegged down and tight I'll give you guys a walk around so you can see exactly what we've done but I'm really happy with the way the brackets work out and I like the whole complete open end access to the shelter so let's make some pegs any excuse to use an axe, obviously. This old root makes a great makeshift chopping block just to spike off just to spike off our pegs. So. Let's make them go in a bit easier. It's not like the ground's hard. Like I say though, any excuse to use an axe. Buffy the Vampire Hunter here, making mistakes before battle. There we go, good old axe. Let's get the uh, pegs in and give you a walk around. Just going to use the back of the axe head as a hammer just to get the pegs in. Actually looks like something now.
course you could always just use one bracket and then have a longer top pole and taper it down for a real stealth shelter or you could cut the upright at any height you want and get the whole thing's profile down lower for more stealth it's so versatile and on the plus side you've never got to carry any poles with you which take up a fair bit of room in your pack when they're longer than some of the uh, small baby shelter tents they're just too small for me being over six foot tall they're just not comfortable so with this setup I can tailor it depending on what size tarp I'm using obviously so you uh, are readjust this peg a little bit get that peg out a little tighter there we have it one shelter let's give you a let's give you a walk around See what you think. So obviously if you were going to make this really really sturdy for the weather you could run some ropes down and peg it right out hardcore with some more cordage but yeah see what I mean about no central poles really really nice and open easy access in and out and it's so versatile you've got countless options what you could do but it actually looks really good and I'd have no issues at all spending a night or ten or whatever in this I think it's a really good idea and those brackets are going to serve me well for years to come just really happy with it so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you could give me a like and a subscribe, it really helped the channel out. I'm trying to grow the channel and put more content out for you guys. So um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it informative at all. And if it's inspired you to grab a pair of those brackets or uh, get someone to make some or make some yourself, it's all good fun. I'm going to include some stills right at the end of the video now so you can see... The brackets when they were just in bits before I welded them all together to give you a better idea of how I built them. So thanks for watching, 